The Pollavaram Dam, an ambitious infrastructure project in southern India, has been a topic of significant engineering, environmental, and social discourse for decades. Spanning the Godavari River, India's second longest river, this massive structure is set to redefine water management, irrigation, and energy production in the region. But its journey from conception to construction has been anything but straightforward. The Godavari River itself is a lifeline for millions, stretching over 1,465 kilometers and supporting diverse ecosystems and agricultural practices across central and southern India. Harnessing its potential through the Pallavaram Dam has been a vision dating back to the mid-20th century, driven by the need to address persistent water scarcity, frequent flooding, and growing energy demands in the region. Despite its potential benefits, the project has also been marred by debates over its feasibility, environmental costs, and socio-political implications. At its heart, the project aims to provide a stable and reliable water source to one of the most agriculturally significant yet water-stressed areas of the country. Once completed, the dam will stand 41.5 meters above sea level, creating a vast reservoir with a capacity of 7,416 billion cubic feet of water, equivalent to over 210 billion cubic meters. This immense reservoir, one of the largest in India, will directly benefit farmers, industries, and urban centers by ensuring year-round water availability. The dam's main structure, stretching an impressive 2,310 meters, is being constructed using an earth core rock fill technique. This method involves a compacted earth core that provides water resistance, while layers of rock surrounding it offer structural strength and stability. Such an approach not only ensures the durability of the dam but also allows it to withstand significant hydrological and geological stresses, critical in a region prone to monsoonal variations and seismic activity. The spillway, an essential feature for managing excess water during peak monsoon seasons, is engineered to handle extraordinary volumes. It is designed to discharge up to 4.94 million cubic feet, or 140,000 cubic meters, of water per second. To put that into perspective, this discharge capacity is among the highest for any dam in the world, emphasizing the project's scale and ambition in flood management. By regulating water flow, the spillway aims to mitigate downstream flooding, which has historically devastated agricultural lands and communities along the river. The project also features an innovative diaphragm wall, a critical element to ensure the dam's stability and prevent seepage. This wall is 1.5 meters thick and extends to depths ranging from 40 to 120 meters below the riverbed. This makes it the first of its kind in India, showcasing the country's growing expertise in advanced engineering techniques. Once operational, the dam will provide irrigation for 719,000 acres of farmland. Its two main canals, the left main canal and the right main canal, will distribute water across the region. The left main canal spans 181.5 kilometers, while the right main canal measures 74 kilometers. Together, they are designed to carry approximately 1,000 cubic meters, or 35,000 cubic feet, of water per second, transforming agriculture in the region. In addition to irrigation, the Pollavaram Dam will contribute to clean energy production. Equipped with 12 Kaplan turbines, each with a capacity of 80 megawatts, the dam is expected to generate 960 megawatts of hydropower. This energy will support homes, industries, and infrastructure in the region, reducing dependency on fossil fuels and contributing to India's renewable energy goals. Beyond its primary purposes, the project opens up possibilities for navigation and tourism. Improved water infrastructure and the scenic surroundings, including areas like the Papikonda National Park, are expected to boost local economies and create jobs in tourism. However, the Pollavaram Dam is not without its controversies and challenges. Originally conceptualized in 1941, the project faced numerous delays due to political, environmental, and social concerns. Following India's independence in 1947, the priorities shifted to immediate infrastructure needs, leaving the project in limbo. It wasn't until 2004 that construction gained significant momentum. Since then, the project's cost has risen dramatically. Initially estimated at $1.2 billion, the cost has escalated to approximately $5.66 billion, adjusted for inflation and additional requirements. 
This increase has been attributed to the project's complexity, prolonged timeline, and unexpected challenges during construction. Among the most pressing challenges is the displacement of communities. The reservoir's creation will submerge 276 villages, displacing approximately 4,457 families. For these communities, the dam represents a loss of homes, livelihoods, and cultural heritage. Resettlement and rehabilitation efforts have faced criticism, with many arguing that the compensation offered is inadequate. Environmental concerns are also prominent. Large areas of land, including parts of the Papikonda National Park, are expected to be submerged. This poses a threat to local ecosystems and biodiversity. The project has faced legal disputes as well, with neighboring states like Odisha and Chhattisgarh raising concerns about potential water shortages and increased flooding. Despite these challenges, construction has progressed steadily in recent years. In 2014, the Polavaram project was granted national status, ensuring central funding and oversight. Recent developments include the construction of a new diaphragm wall, which began in January 2024. Spanning 1,396 meters in length and varying in depth from 10 to 90 meters, this wall is a critical component of the dam's structural integrity. As of late 2024, preparations for cutter panel construction are underway, with trench cutters being brought in for advanced excavation. The timeline for the dam's completion offers two possible scenarios, parallel construction, which could see the project finished by July 2027, or sequential construction, targeting March 2028. Both options depend on overcoming technical and logistical challenges. The Polavaram Dam is not unique in its ambition. Similar projects around the world offer both inspiration and cautionary lessons. The Hoover Dam in the United States, completed in just five years during the 1930s, transformed the American Southwest. Meanwhile, China's Three Gorges Dam, the world's largest hydroelectric power station, took nearly 20 years to build and face significant environmental and social criticism. These examples underscore the challenges and trade-offs of large-scale infrastructure projects. While they can bring immense benefits in terms of water management, energy production, and economic development, they also carry significant environmental and social costs. For the Polivaram project, the stakes are high. If completed successfully, the dam could transform agriculture, energy, and flood control in the region. But its journey remains fraught with challenges, from ensuring construction quality and meeting deadlines to addressing the concerns of displaced communities and mitigating environmental impacts. As India continues to navigate these complexities, the Polavaram Dam stands as a testament to both the potential and the challenges of modern infrastructure development. What lies ahead for the Polavaram Dam? Only time will tell. Consider subscribing for more insights into the world's most ambitious infrastructure projects. Thank you for watching.